I know, but your point of view is like, oh, you just gotta do 10 push-ups on camera. I'm like, yeah, and then 20 more after that, and then a bunch of crunches and flow through a bunch of circuits. See, if you guys really, you don't need trainers. Like, I'm a trainer, you don't need a trainer. What you really need is get a camera guy. They're the best personal trainers ever, because like, hey, just go. Like, give me a second, I just went. No, 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 come on, Wait, I gotta get a better shot, just go. It's, it's just a few push-ups, just go. Hey, I didn't get a good angle, let's do that again, just go. Get a camera guy. Just get someone to record your workouts. They're so much better than trainers. Way more motivating. Kind of bossy. Camera people are like trainers. Get it. So, we're doing... Yo, what's up guys? Justin Clore here with Triari Fitness. So this workout's gonna be a little different. It is literally two exercise, um, three variations of each. We're doing nothing but push-ups and crunches. Uh, kind of a little weird for me, not normal, but we're staying with the uh, theme of stay-at-home workouts, COVID-19, everything else going on. A lot of people don't have access to the gym. So I'm trying to put together a few videos for clients of what we can actually do while we're home with no equipment so you don't have to go out and buy stuff. So for this video, we're gonna do push-ups and crunches. We're doing three versions of push-ups. We're doing 10 reps each. So it's literally gonna be 10 diamond close grip push-ups, 10 wide grip push-ups, and 10 regular push-ups. We're flipping it over immediately after that and doing three versions of crunches. We're doing with legs six inches off the ground, legs at 45 degrees, and then legs straight up in the air. For those that are gonna be a little different, we're doing 10 reps, a 10 second hold in the crunch after, and a 10 second rest. So I don't know too many people if that can just blow through all 30 with 30 seconds of holding with no rest in between. Um, I'm not one of them. Know your weaknesses, know your strengths, so that's not it. So we'll do it in that way, see how this goes. I'm gonna go through probably, I don't know, three or four different circuits of this, and uh, that's all we're gonna do. It's just a nice little kind of in-between. You can do this once, twice a day, whatever it is, just to get up and do something. That's the whole point of all of these, is just to move and do something so we're not sitting on our butt all day. So let's get started. We're doing pretty much three things. We're doing three-way push-ups, and then we're gonna do three-way crunches. So for the first way of the push-ups, I'm gonna be doing 10 diamond push-ups, and everything's gonna be 10. So 10 diamond push-ups, and I already don't know how many we're on, but we'll say it was 10. I'm gonna go from diamond push-ups, and I'm gonna go super wide push-ups, really trying to actually focus on using my chest on these. So super wide push-ups for 10, which I'm terrible at counting, all my clients will attest to that. And then just 10 normal push-ups right after. Actually count the 10. Sure, felt like 10. As soon as we get done with those, we're gonna to switch to some crunches. And for these, we're doing three different ways and they're gonna be kind of awful. So for the crunches, I'm gonna do six inches off the ground. I'm gonna do 45 degrees legs and then legs straight up in there. 10 crunches, 10 second hold, 10 second break in between each one. So six inches off the ground, 10 crunches. and then holding on 10. Maybe five second rest. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm only gonna take five seconds. <sighs> yep, I regret it. Instantly regret my decision. <sighs> that was a terrible choice. I knew uh, stick to the plan. That's the key there. Stick to the plan. I remember why we did 10 second rest. It's all coming back to me. Okay. Whew. Take 30 seconds, do all that again. Whew. All right. All 
All right, that's gonna be it for that circuit. Uh, we went ahead and did four rounds of that between crunches, push-ups. It took about two minutes in between each one instead of doing the 30 second break like I originally said. Uh, turns out when you're doing a bunch of these, it actually gets pretty challenging. During this whole time of kind of not being able to do as much as we're used to, watching your calories, watching what you're eating, just get moving. Just do a little bit of physical activity, which is what this is. So try it at home. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Um, anything y'all want to see next time in the videos, let us know in the comments so we can post that video next. Uh, we got a few more things to do. We're going to come up with a full dumbbell. So what you can actually do with just two dumbbells. So, not, well, four dumbbells. What you can do with two sets, a light dumbbell and a heavy dumbbell. So if you guys want to do a little bit more weighted stuff, we're going to put that video out next of what you can actually do at home with just a couple of dumbbells and uh, get a full workout. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm like, I'm gonna steal your heart, I'll make a crime Zine designer on your tie jeans Some diamonds for your time, peace, yeah, yeah You know you got me going